What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're gonna be installing a hydro e-brake on the drift truck or a drift stick, whatever you guys wanna call it. Um, it's gonna be a little bit of a weird video because I already kind of, um, I'm in the process of already installing it. And the reason I'm doing that is because I have, I had no clue as to how I was gonna mount it. Um, but now I think I know uh, what I'm going to be doing and you know all that so I'm going to take everything apart and then show you guys from the beginning on what exactly I'm doing and all that good stuff but pretty much this is where I have the main bracket mounted up right here it's very sturdy it's uh that like clicking you here is because it's still loose uh, I haven't tightened all the way you can see right there um but it's not just bolted up to this little aluminum piece right here or this little thin piece of sheet metal it has an actual bracket underneath um no welding required uh, that's why I did it. I could have welded and it could have been a lot better, but I know there's a lot of you who don't have welders. So that's why I'm doing it uh, kind of like a bolt in the style. And then I'm going to show you guys uh, what I'm going to be doing to tap into my rear brakes and all that. But yeah, let's get started. So then it's going to be this bracket right here. And then you're going to want to put this thing on top. Obviously, you drill your holes. And then you're going to go like this and then kind of just tighten everything together. So now when you try to pull this back, it's going to be wedged and it's not going to be able to go. And then you're going to be all cherry for the bracket at least. So if you guys have any questions on like this bracket system right here, uh, comment down below and I'll try to answer them. Because I know I didn't actually show you guys like me cutting and doing all that because like I said, I did that already because I wasn't too sure how I wanted to run it. But now I'm sure on that part. Um, so I think that's a good enough explanation. But if I went a little too fast or, you know, you need some more help on that. Definitely comment down below. I think now we're gonna be doing the brake system. Huge thanks to G&J Aircraft for making these custom brake lines for me. They are uh, steel braided, and obviously you can see they're hot pink, so you know, super dink dink, and also for getting me all these fittings. So, what you're gonna wanna do is come to your rear brake system right here. It's gonna go into this little T right here. So this T, I'm pointing at the wrong T. That's the T right there. This brake hose is gonna come out and it's gonna go into, where is it? It's gonna go like this, don't mind that fitting, I put that fitting on. It's gonna go up here like that to this hard line right here, which should be threaded in and have a little retaining clip kind of holding it in place. Then you're gonna follow that one. Sorry, it's not focusing. You're gonna follow that one and it's gonna go up here which is gonna go into like this little master. So you're gonna see there's an F for front, F for front, and then there's an R for both the rears. Sorry, I don't know if I was pointing at it. And what you're gonna wanna do is unplug it or you know remove it, and then you're gonna wanna put one of these fittings in there. Oh gosh. Yeah, one of these. And then you're gonna wanna put a little plug, like a little, it threads on, and it just kinda blocks it off. So you're gonna wanna like thread that on, I can't do it with one hand. And then you're gonna wanna throw this in there. And then just kinda, like I said, just block that off. And now with this hose over here, you're gonna have this hose, cause this, essentially this leads to that. So now this, you're gonna put the same exact fitting that I just showed you guys. And then you're gonna thread this into your brake hose right there. And then that's gonna run to the hydro. So once again, if you guys have any questions on this part, um, definitely let me know. I'll try to answer them uh, better, but I'm kind of not in a rush But I just kind of I'm explaining everything because I've already done everything But uh, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of people saying like bro. You're gonna crush. You're only gonna have front brakes um, Yes, and no one. I don't drive the truck on the street at all It's not even registered and two I think it's honestly perfect and that's how I feel comfortable if you guys remember my other boosted hard body my foot brake was only for my foot brakes, and actually, I bought this Hydro for that truck, um, but I never got to install it because I sold the truck, and then now that I have this one, I'm gonna install it on this truck. Shoot, I thought that was bolted up. So, there's two kinds of brakes. There's this one, which is for like a dual caliper setup that you could run on like 240, so that controls its own set of brakes. That's like the master. And then there's the inline one, which has, you could tell by this one, the master only has one fitting coming out. The inline has two coming out so one the the brake fluid will go in and then come out and what you do is essentially cut your brakes which i know this is going to be probably what more, most of you're going to be running is your brake line will go like this you cut the brakes or you don't cut it but you reroute it into the hydro and then the other one that's coming out will go like that and then down to the rear brakes but me i'm just going to cut it block it off and then start a new one with this one 
I have the brake line connected in the rear. Now I have it running through this little grommet hole. I have the grommet right here. I'm just gonna quickly slice it down the middle just so I could put it back in and just so it's not constantly rubbing on this edge right here. It's not that sharp, but if it's moving back and forth like that, it could eventually cut through it. So that's why I'm gonna slice it and then feed it through. So I have to remove it again, feed it through there. But I got more than enough uh, brake line. So you can see I have still more slack in the rear. But that's probably what I would recommend is if you get brake line, get more than what you actually need. So if you need like 10 feet, get like 12 feet. Just get more just in case. Um, if you have more, you could just kind of wrap it up like that. Make a little ball. Um, obviously don't pinch it, but like, you know, just have it chilling like that. Because if you have too little, you're going to have to like hook up more pieces and it's going to look all whack. And you could have, you know, failures and stuff like that. Now I got everything assembled. Now the base is like a raw finish, so I'm probably gonna have to paint that, but I'll probably paint that off video. I'm probably just gonna do black or maybe silver just to match this, just so it doesn't stand out that much. Um, but like I said, just pretty much just take this all apart. But uh, yeah, she's pretty much all done. She's nice and bolted up. That's wiggly just because of like this bracket piece right here. This is the, the wiggly point, but dude, this thing is sturdy as fuck. Like this thing's not going anywhere. Um, so like I said, you got that steel piece underneath. Um, you can see right there. Obviously, I gotta bleed it. I gotta put some fluid in there because it's absolutely dry. I'm still gonna show you guys me doing that. And then I got the the line routed right here next to the seat just so it's not like out here. So it's routed like that. And then it just kind of loosely back here. Like I said, the grommet right there. Let me get my light out so I can show you guys. I know there's a mess back here because you can see the grommet where I cut it and just kind of fed it through. And then along the frame in the rear, I just kind of zip tied it that way on the frame. But I'll show you guys that part tomorrow because uh, it's getting kind of laid out and uh, it's not going to be that good for the video. But uh, I'll probably end up bleeding this tomorrow. So pretty much you just put some in, have somebody crack it open, and then you just kind of pull it back forward. Same as a foot brake. Uh, I haven't tested out the foot brake, but it seems pretty hard. I already started it and uh, with like out the vacuum pressure and it still felt pretty good but I'm probably still gonna bleed out the front braking system but uh yeah that's pretty much how you install a hydro it's super simple um, it's really effective and now I just got to take it to the track and see if it actually helps out a lot because when I went I for sure th I thought at least that I for sure needed a hydro just to get the rear end a little loose because since it's like leaf sprung, uh, as soon as you let off the throttle, it's like an LSD, as soon as you let off the throttle, it kind of just hooks up and snaps back. So that's why this, when I ever get off the throttle, I could pull it, kind of keep it, keep the momentum going. And then the bucket seat, but I already installed the bucket seat. So I got a new master cylinder, of course, you know, Will Wood, um, just because my other one was bad. But now I'm going to try to bench bleed this a bit and then throw it into the truck. All right, guys, so the hydro is now all done. Um, I'm not going to be showing you guys <clears throat> any video of it like in action, well in this video, uh, just because I don't want to make it any longer than it already is, but uh, yeah, it's nice and tight, it's actually really tight, like I can, you can see I could barely move it, um, and uh, yesterday I was testing it out and it locks up perfect, like I know I was reading forums and a bunch of people were telling me like, oh you're never going to be able to lock up the drum brakes in the rear, the stock, they're this and that, you need to swap it, you need to do this, blah blah blah, all this crap, you know negative stuff and locks it up perfectly like almost effortless like if i wanted to i could pull it with my pinky and it would lock up the rear brake so that's good locks them up really good i just want to go over everything because i know this has been kind of taking me like maybe a month to install and it's not really that the hydro is hard to install i've just been busy and then i had to wait for a new master so that took like a week and then just stuff got in the way so i wasn't able to work on the truck but from when i first started this video to now it's been about a month but uh, I don't really, really remember what I said in the beginning of the video. So I'm just going to kind of go over everything. So this is the same master that it came with. Just this one is good. Uh, I bled the brakes. I think I had a leak before. That's why I could never bleed them. So that also uh, didn't help me locking it up. And then this, I had this thread all the way bottomed out over here. So you would have to pull this lever all the way back in order for it to actually like engage. So right now it's like, let's say like barely engaging. So when I pull it a little bit, it's already like there, if that makes sense. And then I got this done at G&J Aircraft. Um, I just told them, I think I did nine feet of steel braided brake line. 
and then and I went straight back here under the truck right here and then I tapped it into the factory brakes obviously the the hard lines right there and uh, yeah she actually locks up really good uh, I'm still kind of getting used to pulling it and kind of you know initiating and all that but I will post a video of me hooning with the truck and you know showing you the e-brake and or the hydra I should say and drifting at the track and all that so yeah, the truck is pretty much done now. I got a new axle, if you don't know. Uh, I don't know when the video is going to go out, but I did get a new axle. Uh, I recently got that, I think, welded like two days ago, and I had to test it out. So everything's buttoned up now. I just need to throw the bed on, and I think we should be ready to drive it on the streets and everything. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out, guys.